Hi, I'm Steve Lawson and I'm here to explain looping to you, uh, which is the process of recording music in real time and then layering on top of that uh, in order to create the effect that there are seven bass players playing when in fact there's only one. The looping device that I'm using here today is the Gibson Echoplex, which is a rat mount uh, unit with a corresponding foot controller. There are much more basic options available, there's the Line 6 DL4, the Roland RC20 and the Boomerang, all of which do, do things just fine. This just happens to be the setup that I've, I've settled with after trying all the various options available. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play, construct, show you how to construct a tune using, using the Echoplex. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a, chord, a, a chordal part. I'm using a wah-wah sound from the Lexicon MPXG2 processor down here. So I can just record two bars of, of, of basic funk guitar with that. So that's now in the loop, I've now recorded that. I can leave that running and the next thing I can put down is a bass part. So I'll change the sound that I was using. Tune to drop D because the, 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 the opening chord is a D minor 7. So. same sound I've got there, maybe with a different sound, um, and then come back and put a second chordal part on afterwards. So let's try that. and hopefully uh, this will have given you some idea of, of, of how the process works, layering up the different sounds in the different parts. 